guys welcome back welcome back um as you know i am mixed red bone 2010 to the ones who does not tune in yeah welcome to my channel but anywho let's get into this girls and guys this is a youtube tag woo, 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 woo. and also my first tag and um and i didn't think about this tag for a while now so I also, when I thought about it, I said, well, let me do some research and see have anyone done this tag. And guess what? I have not seen that one person do this tag um, when I Google it on YouTube. So I guess I will be the first unless they have it listed under something else. Now let's get right into it. And like I said, it is actually a YouTube tag, not a tag of I'm on YouTube with a tag. No, it's actually a YouTube tag about YouTube. Okay. First question. What do YouTube mean to you? To me, YouTube means a place where I can be myself. I can just do me 24 hours. A place I can vent. A place I can talk to different people to get their opinions. Um, <clears throat> excuse me just basically be me you know and the person as y'all know mrs redbone 2010 or for the facebookers redbones are the best you know but it's just a place for me to be me a place i can vent a place i can share things that i know how to do a place where i can learn how to do stuff do stuff and do things i never knew how to which i learned i learned a lot from youtube different styles and stuff because i always done hair since i was like in middle school you know so you know so it's just a place where i can go to vent to be myself to learn different things hair makeup whatever jewelry how to make certain things anything learn i we watch cooking videos cooking videos or do learn do certain things like cooking and everything so youtube me actually means a lot to me you know so besides me uploading my videos beside it besides all that youtube means a lot because that's where i come to like relax my nerve if i want to watch no mess on tv i just come to youtube type in like how do how to make a rainbow cake or how to make a red velvet how to cook occasions jamaican dish or just simple stuff how to do bamboo earrings or how to do you part with stuff like that is the reason i love youtube and that is what youtube needs to be a place mini event a place where i can learn things that i don't know how to do and i want to learn them next um, question um what is your channel about my channel is not my I don't have a specific thing my channel is about. You know, it just you just get me all day, every day. One minute you may have a video of me twerking. Next video you may have me, oh, I'm doing a hair review. Or I may be doing some company review. Or maybe doing this. I may be doing that. I may be like, oh she all over the place. That's me in my real life. I am actually all over the place. You know, because I'm um, I'm me. I'm a Gemini, and for for the ones that know, they know by Gemini, I can't speak to nobody else. But for me, I'm a loose cannon. I really, really, really am. You know. And so, if you go back to like when I kind of started, I think my first video I uploaded on YouTube was a video of me, um, some of my styles I had done, and then like another video, the next one, I think it was like my cousin doing like um one of his songs and I just did a video I mean I was just bull crapping around on here you know and later on as I learned to do more things I started to do like invisible parts I started doing invisible hairlines once I learned how to do it my first time I stopped uploading that that was my foundation of YouTube was hair you know and that's basically what I always been about I still am about hair I love hair I always love hair I do hair you know and my first video was me showing pictures of hairstyles I have done. And I'm still doing videos about hair. You know, and I may be transitioning into like now about hair reviews and product reviews and stuff like that. It's still my foundation. It still is hair. So basically, my YouTube channel is about hair. My YouTube channel is about me. It's about me. Also, don't forget about my other videos of me in Rome. So my rip, my so basically, my YouTube channel is about personally. It's about me, my personal 
life, my me, real life, real. You get this shit blood raw all day. That's what my channel is about. Mrs. Rep on 2010. Period. I don't care if it's me want to walk down the road twerking or some shit. It's going to be about me. Okay? That's what my channel is about. My top five favorite YouTubers. <sighs> some people may be offended, but I don't really care. But just because your name isn't on this list does not mean I do not watch you. I watch everybody, but the ones that stand out to me the most as in real and you can learn stuff from is basically the ones who I have on this list. Okay, so my top five, not in no certain order, it's just my top five. Now, this person right here, she tickles me so much because she's so, gi so giggly, she's so fun. She seems very real and down to earth very very real down to earth and she has amazing things on her channel I, I learned how to do she have a bunch of DIYs on clothes and makeup and hair I love that and that would be beep 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 it's my Ray Ray yes girl that girl when I found her channel a while back I said, oh my gosh, I have to su subscribe. That's how you need to be when you subscribe to somebody's channel. Like, I have to subscribe to their channel. And I love her channel. So, toot toot, toodles up to miss. Um, it's in my Ray Ray. Also, Glam's Corner. That girl is my boop boop. You hear me? I love her channel too. Um, because she's doing things that I did when I had first started off. And I was like an amateur, but she's not an amateur. She she's actually a licensed cosmetologist or whatever. And you know, and she come on that one like people ask me now, why you why don't you why aren't you doing your, your tutorials on, on hair and quick weeds? I'm gonna start back doing that. Because she asked for it. But yes, that's what she does. She does a bunch of quick weaves and invisible parts and hairlines and Stuff like that. Show you how to make full wigs with quick weaves and U parts and everything. I mean everything. She also sells jewelry, her custom made earrings called Glamour or something like that. She's also on Instagram. You can check her out. She is the bomb dot com. She's such a sweetie. She's very down to earth, very fun. You could you can tell about watching somebody who's very real and down to earth. And she's definitely one of the ones that's real and down to earth. So cool up to Miss Glam's corner. Go check her out. Also, Miss Shonda. I haven't been watching Miss Shonda since I probably started YouTube. Because old girl do hair. She I like the way she bleaches her hair. She don't give a damn what nobody say. On her comment things. All that. I love Miss Shonda. Shonda, everybody should know her. If you are a true YouTube subscriber, you should know about Miss Shonda. Yes. Um, her styles, yo, uh, her styles, yo, I love what I look by her channel. She's always doing, um, wig reviews. And, um, and I just love her accent, her talk. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm crazy, but I love how she talk because she sound like Toya, Toya Carter. From like she from New Orleans or something like that. That's how she. That's how she sounds. That's what she remind me of. But I like how she do her reviews and she always quick, straight to the point. You know, put that bad boy on, show you what it looks like. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for watching. Blah blah blah. She's gone. She seems very cool, complex, down to herself. Not with that bullshit YouTube drama. She's straight to the point, and I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love all the wigs she review, and she's doing other stuff now too. And I love that. And also, she's one of my followers on woo, 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 Instagram. And I, when I saw that, I fell in ah total love. I said, "Oh my gosh, she followed me!" Yeah, she's such a she's, yeah, she's a cutie pie. I love her. Um, next person, last but not least, everybody knows the diva of YouTube. Everybody knows. The diva, tip your hat, tip your crown, get that bitch a crown. Miss Passion Jones, yes, indeedy, feed the needy. But um, yeah, Miss Passion Jones is definitely on my top five. I mean, her name stands by itself. Oh, do I need to say more what she does? Matter of fact, I just did a girl talk video about her. 
But yeah, Passion Jones, she taught me how to walk, not walk girl. She taught me how to curl with a flat iron. She sat there and took specifically, showed you like, you do this and then like you hold it there and you kind of flip back and mm -hmm, blah, 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 like that. And that's how you, like I got to curl with a pencil. But um, yeah, and she she does that. She shows you how to properly wine curl. Uh, why keep saying wine curl? Flexi rise. How to flat iron curl the big old pretty curl with a flat iron. How to bleach out properly. How to make a proper U part. How to sew a U part. How to glue a U part. Fuck what she don't do. Put it like that. What she don't do. So yeah. Next question, you guys is. How long have you been on YouTube? I've been on YouTube since July 09. I had to go look at that. I've been on YouTube since July of 2009. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, well, damn. Why you only got like 1,800 subscribers? Because a lot of y'all mother efforts are subscribing when I thought I left y'all ass for two years. I would unsubscribe too, though. I'll be real. But y'all shouldn't unsubscribe me because y'all know I was coming back. And I'm back. I left it two months. I got like what? I think it might live about two or three months. I got what, about 400 subscribers? Yeah. Keep it up, you guys. Continue to subscribe to my channel. Y'all know who real and who ain't. Anywho, um. Pick three words to describe your channel. Real. Because I'm not going to bite my tongue about nobody or nothing. Um, hair. And me. Me just right on 2010. It's all about me, boo. Boop, boop. And last but not least, why are you here? What are your motives for you to be here on YouTube? Why are you here? I'm here because I want to teach people the things that I know how to do. Like, <laughs> like, um, which I need to start back doing these things because y'all have asked for it. But, um, I am... But, yeah, I'm here because I want to basically show everybody what I know how to do. Teach me why I teach you. You know, we teach one another. So, you teach, I teach. So, I was like, show you my, how I use, like, my little bun things. I did not know how to do that. Someone taught me how to do it, and I made it my own, and I did it my way. And my way was the bomb.com. Um, but basically, teach people how to do different types of hairstyles. How to, uh achieve hairstyles how to do like all these the, the proper way of the invisible hairline 3d hairline which seaborn and down south where i'm in here in florida but i'm north florida they south florida uh doing these miami styles that i have learned which i have i have it's a must i need to do some videos of that let you know that your girl your girl is a freaking flat iron curling queen right here i like damn i didn't know i was that major really but that's what you don't know when you watch somebody on YouTube. And then when you start doing your own shit, you start remembering what they did. And before you know it, you didn't do what they did. And that's what YouTube means to me. And that's why I'm here. To share my experiences and share my life events and share basically hair things with you. And as you as well as I teach you, you teach me. We're here to help each other, not to pull each other down. Especially if we're in the same kind of YouTube world as far as hair and makeup and style and fashion goes. <laughs> You're not here to beef. You're not here to get free shit. You're not here to false advertise like you some kind of product promoting that you really on under all that deep skin you just want from free hair. I don't have a problem. I mean, literally y'all know I sell hair. But I just like to do product reviews for other people's hair. Which they ain't stopping my hustle at all. Because people know shit. I ain't hurting by a long shot. You know. I still have locally and globally. 
I had a sent had to uh Canada. I can't remember what part it was. I was happy about that. And I forgot what part overseas, some kind of island or something. But I don't mind promoting nobody else because I know I got good hair. What I sell and it will sell itself on a bad damn day. So, but I just like doing product reviews and whatever. Matter of fact, one day I'm going to take y'all to my shed and see all the stuff I got that I sell. Because the virgin hair ain't shit. Okay? It's just something. At the end of the day, it's, it's just some fucking hair. Really. Stop going crazy. YouTube crazy. Try to get YouTube pages to get free hair. Hey, take your ass. Hell. And I found this, found this out about a year or so ago. Hell. Check your ass to AliExpress. You uh, you can find some cheap ass hair on there. Okay? That's not one of my vendors. But I know a lot of these bitches that's, that's, that's hair companies that get that shit from AliExpress. I'll put it out there. But you got to be careful who you buy from. I don't know who good. I don't know who ain't good. I just know some of them got okay hair. Some of them got, mm, you know. But it's you. I don't even care. But y'all trying to act so high to do on this YouTube shit. And it ain't nothing. It's just fucking YouTube. Get the fuck over yourself. So, that's your girl. Being realistic as I can be about to my YouTube tag. So, I tag you to tag somebody else to do this YouTube tag. All these questions. What do YouTube mean to you? Your top five YouTube people you watch or whatever. All those questions, you know what I said. Rewatch it, whatever. But this is your girl, Miss Red on 2010. Signing out. Don't forget to rest, subscribe, or comment. Follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to request. And your girl will see you next time. Bye, baby. Talk to you later.